We have a very exciting presentation here and it's about the first wind assisted diesel electric hybrid expedition yacht. Be aware that, that the commercial sector is fully embracing wind propulsion and the yachting sector, aside from sailboats, has not been using this new technology and adapting it to expedition yachts. And we're going to be the first ones to do that. As I said before, commercial ships have already embraced uh, wind-assisted shipping. The one that we are modeling our expedition yacht on is a breakthrough vessel called the Canape. This railroad ship was built specifically to take rockets from France to their uh, space station, space launch area in South America and Guyana. This vessel cruises at 16.5 knots in order to make that crossing and they have achieved fuel savings using the ocean wing sail of 30 percent and that and they predict that they may get up to 50 percent annually fuel savings that's about three tons of fuel per day so each of the sails has sensors on it and each sail is controlled individually to get the optimum propulsion out of it these ocean wing sails are closer to an aircraft wing than they are to a traditional sail uh, for those of you that are sailors, they can sail up to five degrees off the wind. It means that they can actually go into the wind and create propulsion from these sails. We're choosing the ocean wing because it has the best in class propulsion and performance. So now with our vessel, we're going to take advantage of the trade winds. And the trade winds is how all the trade was done uh, in the good old days on the ship's navigation system. It's going to be meteorological information fed into it. Um, about where the winds are and where the advantageous route is to take advantage of the winds. And at the same time, the navigation and the route planning will take into account the ocean currents. We are planning on being able to operate uh, completely under sail power at probably 8 to 10 knots. When we do that, we are going to hydro generate electricity off the spinning props and we're expecting to create enough hydro generation to carry the hotel load and, and also put more juice back in the battery. So the model for our expedition yacht has already been built and has performed and it's so we are basing our designs and our new build on an existing platform. So if this piques your interest and you'd like to talk about what, getting uh, one of these vessels please get in touch with me and we can meet up in Monaco or we can jump on WhatsApp at any time.